If beer is on the menu for your Super Bowl watch party, you're probably wondering what food am I going to serve with it? Well, I got a chance to hang out at the Lansing Brewing Company, saw how some of their beers are canned, and found out what suggestions they have for you. Inside the Lansing Brewing Company, machines are moving. Cans are clicking and the beer is pouring. It's controlled chaos and, and a lot of laughter uh, and eclectic music, usually. That's the vibe during the process of canning and putting your favorite six pack together. Getting to experience it firsthand was pretty cool. Okay. <laughs> we do 40 cans a minute is typically how the fastest one runs. So uh, one pallet of our cans, about 80 cases, it'll probably be 40, 45 minutes for, for a full pallet. But as you watch the cans get snapped into place, you can't help but wonder what beers might actually go well with your favorite Super Bowl foods. General Manager Jeremy McEwen made sure to lay out a map of choices for us. First, if you're making beer cheese at your party, Jeremy pairs it with their backstop Bach. We've paired it, again, as I alluded, with a traditional Bach German lager. There's a sample for you, sample for me. And this really helps Bach lagers, they really help with the heaviness of the cheese. So this pairs really, really well. Uh, it's a crisp German lager, it goes great with cheese. I value my job, so I'm not going to try this on camera. What does it taste like? Because I'm, I'm not allowed to taste it, but I can smell it. This one smells really strong. It's uh, not It's not strong at all. It's not? No, it's only 5.5% uh, ABV. Caramel notes to it, it's very malty. Um, it's just a really crisp, clean drinking beer. Spinach artichoke dip, Jeremy says. Why not pair it with their Velvet Villain? All right, this next beer, Tiana, is our Velvet Villain. It's our Imperial Porter. Uh, comes in at 8.2% ABV, but it drinks a lot lighter than that. Uh, again, really great presence of some coffee, some chocolate, a little bit of molasses on that beer. Okay. We're gonna just drop that on there. I can't drink the beer, but I can eat the food. Mm-hmm. You'll see a lot of this dip at Super Bowl parties. Mmm. Look at this spot right here. Wings. Yeah. And nachos, those are quintessential Super Bowl foods. You have to have Super wings and nachos for to. the Super Bowl. Yep. So we we took it another little step farther with these being our cauliflower wings. Mm -hmm. um, so they're vegetarian. Uh, and again, these can be done in a fryer, uh, in a restaurant obviously, but you can make these in an air fryer as well. Um, and those go really great. I like to crack an IPA, a nice crisp IPA whenever I'm having anything with some heat to it. Amber Cream. Again, our flagship, this is the beer that we like to say built Lansing Brewing Company. Again, this beer is just very malt forward. It's got some nice caramel coloring to it. Yes, um, it's very pretty. Yeah, it goes really, really well with a hearty nacho. Uh, would pair really great with any, any variety of nacho that you throw on your Super Bowl table. And that wraps up our little beer tour. I know we went over three beers, but Lansing Brewing Company has a wide variety you can choose from. Stop into Lansing Brewing Company. You can pick up a myriad of our beers. We've got a ton available right now. We've got 21 different beers on tap. They're available in growlers, available in crawlers, and we've got a bunch of six packs at the door as well. Or stop into your local retailer uh, and pick up, look for Lansing Brewing Company beer. Keeping you in the loop with things to do, I'm your neighborhood reporter, Tiana Jenkins. No. <laughs> uh, no. I want to keep my job, so. <laughs>